Meet some of the toughest men on the planet. From shark wranglers in the Caribbean. I've nearly been killed three times in one day. To snake catchers in Bangladesh. Cave explorers in Mexico. There's no room for error. To reindeer herders in Siberia. Guys who risk their lives in some of the most hostile places on Earth. <laughs> now, five young Brits are heading for their worlds. I've only ever seen other sort of like countries and cultures and stuff on TV. Easton, a London firefighter. If I can handle anything that nature throws at me, I will then in turn make my family proud, and that's my goal. Vegetarian Ben. The world I've lived in until now has been very... Ross, an elite swimmer. I want a new challenge, you know? I want, uh, you know, new adventures, and ultimately, I just want to win. Contemporary dancer Nick. Being on stage is all right, because you can pretend, but out there, I guess it's going to be really difficult to hide behind anything, so I just have to be myself. And Ruben, a new age traveller. I grew up around nature, and I'd like to see what else is out there and test myself against it. They face one simple challenge. To prove they can hack it when nature gets really tough. This is insane! All around the world. Ooh. The boys must live just like the locals. Taking on extreme and dangerous tasks. If you panic down there, you're dead. If you can't cope. Or let the others. If you're not good enough. Or if you quit. I haven't been in three days. You failed. No excuses. Now it's challenge eight. A jagged Japanese mountain and an extreme Buddhist sect. Where the boys will discover if they're a tough guy or chicken. After four months on the road, the boys arrive in Japan. And Ross, for one, is still very much on the go. This drives like a Formula One car. Who trusts in Ross? It's their final leg of an epic four-month adventure. Previously, it was Bangladesh and a challenge to master the deadly Asian cobra. Ruben injured his ankle. It's upsetting that I can't finish it because I would have liked to have finished it and, like, every challenge, really. And Ross was booted out for showboating. You know, it makes me think, Ross, do you need to kind of, like, grow up a little bit? Leaving it to Nick, Ben and Easton to go on a hunt with fearless Bede snake catchers. But a sudden storm ended Nick's incredible unbeaten run. And only Easton succeeded in catching a lethal Asian cobra. <laughs> now in Japan, the boys are heading for their final challenge. Jesus Christ, I don't think we're in the right place. I want enlightened Batman. And the last few days of their four-month adventure. Suck it! This could be our last big night. Yeah. And we should be going back to the hotel to sleep. Where's the... Because we start the challenge like tomorrow. Student. They'll need all the rest they can get. Because this challenge will be tough on their bodies and their minds. These are Yamabushi, a sect of Buddhist monks who seek enlightenment full on. At the heart of their beliefs is a gruelling mountain pilgrimage of perilous rock face scrambles. That's the drop. The Brits will have to conquer pain. You could feel every bloody rock in these things, man. <laughs> Exhaustion. It's just completely destroying me. And fear. If they're going to get to the end of their journey in just six days' time.
Hello? Hello? 7 a.m. And an unexpected call. You have to speak English, I don't understand. I don't know. I don't understand. He spoke a lot of Japanese and I didn't go through what he said. It turns out that a young monk has arrived to collect the Brits. Take them on a short walk through the streets of Kyoto. They're coming here. The 350-year-old Imperial Shigoin Temple. Center of the 1,200-year-old Yamabushi sect. Time to meet their trainer for the week. This is Miyagi-san. He'll be their Sendatsu, or master. Every challenge, the boys are taught by the best. And Miyagi-san has survived the agonies of the Okugaki mountain pilgrimage over 40 times. Now, he has to get a group of rookie monks through it just once. 絶対大丈夫。舐めてかかってたのね。もう死んでもええと思うぐらい死んどかった。The boys have to enter Miyagi-san's world. Do as he does, accept his rules, or fail. ま、体力的にはね、多分問題はないと思うけれども、精神的なね、部分をやっぱり no mountain pilgrimage just yet. All novice monks face a tough regime in the service of Buddha. Up until now, it's been like fighting bulls or you know swimming with sharks. And now we're just cleaning. <laughs> but the place is spotless. I don't mind cleaning. I feel like karate kid. The idea is that by scrubbing the temple, you also scrub up your mind. To me, this is great. I get to clean. I love cleaning. I'm already in the zone right now. hours later, there's a very shiny temple and, hopefully, some well-cleansed souls. Now, with evening falling, it's time for prayers. <laughs> 